G'day, my name's Chris Henry, and today I'm on the water with the new Oshia Head Dips by Shimano. I've got the 175 and the 200F. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how we rig them, the setup we're using, and also a few retrieves to help you when you get on the water. First off, we're gonna get them rigged up. They come unrigged, just with a set of split rings on them. So you can put whatever hook of your choice you prefer. Today, we've chosen to go with the 5.0 treble, purely just because I feel like the treble on a stick bait is the way that they swim the best. And that is the lure all rigged up there like that. I'm gonna go from the connection to the lure all the way back to the reel. So there we go, that is split ring to solid ring connection. I've just got a uni knot there. You can get pretty fancy with the knots. There's an AG chain knot, uni knot, blood knot, whatever you choose, whatever your preference is. Straight to 200 pound mono. Then we've got the main line, which is PE8, Oshia 8. And I've got a Stella 20,000 for the reel. Now the braid to leader knot is an FG knot, purely because of the size of it, so it can go through the guides nice and easily with the large leader. The rod is a grappler type C, PE8. Now this one specifically, is a three piece, which are really handy. If you're doing a bit of traveling, you can just tuck them away into three pieces. They're packed down really small. Now we're all rigged up. I'll throw my gloves on. We'll get this thing in the water and I'll show you a couple of retrieves. Okay. Get him in there. Nice long cast. Now, first of all, you just want to let the lure sit so it resets and starts vertical because these guys, seeing as they're called the head dip, they actually sit vertical in the water like this. Now, when you retrieve it, you give it a little pause so that it resets and starts like that. Then as you stroke it like this, it turns down, the head dips under the water and it has a zigzag action. So starting the sweep, you point your rod at the lure and you can see there's a little bit of a belly in your line and that all that is is slack so that you can Get your lure to reset and sit vertical in the water. Then once you sweep, the lure engages about halfway through the sweep. The head grabs, dips underwater, and it swims perfectly. And that's just one way to retrieve it, but the, I would say that would be the most effective. Incorporating that swimming action, then you get the pause in, in the middle. Now another retrieve. This is probably the easiest one, which is applicable with most stick baits. Works really well with the head dips. Just lure hits the water, straight wine. It'll just hit the chop, dart on the top and skip. Another time to use that is when you're sweeping. If you raise a fish, it comes up and it kind of shies away on the pause and doesn't want to doesn't want to commit. You just roll it away, just at a medium sort of pace, get it skipping on the top, and it'll follow it. And sometimes that fleeing action will entice it to strike and you get the bite. Oh, fish, fish, fish! Here we go. Oh, yeah. Turn him, turn him, turn him, turn him, turn him. Oh, I don't want him to go in there. On a rock. <clears throat> Pretty much as soon as I got in the water, I've done, done exactly what I was saying. And uh, we've hooked up, come tight. Oh, this is a GT. There we go. Is that the boat? Oh, here he is. Oh, it's not a bad fish. Now I did a quick color change. Seemed to do the trick. Oh, there we go. New head dips. Done all the right things. Connections all worked. Boated a fish, I'm pretty happy. Well, that's a couple of things to get you started with the Oshia head dips. Now, if you want to find out more, head into your local tackle store or hit the Shimano website, which is shimanofish.com.au for more details.